Okay. Hello, my name is Teresa De Leon. I'm 39 years old, uh, born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. I've been living in Birmingham for nine years. Um, born and raised as a Mexican-American in our culture, um, we are going to be embedded in the Catholic religion as, as well as being a Democrat. Um, growing up, seeing how my dad stood up for a lot of... Uh, He stood up a lot for rights, especially during the Cesar Chavez time. Um, and as kids, we would do certain marches with him. Did not understand really what was going on, but we were at marches. Would it be for against C C Christopher Columbus Day? Um, not recognizing that, but marching together in unity for the purpose of the reason why we did not celebrate that, the history behind that. And that experience is being a minority here in the South, being a female, and being a Mexican-American in the South brought so many feelings that we were never exposed to in the big state of San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Such a, a diverse city, military city, a tourist city, uh, how we were raised, you know, never had to judge anyone by its race or its color. Um, being a community act advocate here for the Hispanic community, it drew my attention because I saw that there was not, no one either was helping or trying to um, get their voice heard for the experience that they were dealing here. So I got involved uh, mentoring students. Uh, my daughter's friends when they were in fourth grade and now they're juniors in high school. Um, and talking to them and knowing the studies of what I know then and what I've learned here in Birmingham, Alabama, and being as also part of the family of the Civil Rights Institute here, and being, a, a being in the community and working with the community, the importance of why we need to vote. It does make a difference, whether you're Republican or Democrat, but when you are cornered because you're a female, you're a Mexican-American, and you're a firefighter here in Birmingham, Alabama. It makes a difference because of the fact that you are giving your voice by voting for those who cannot vote and who are just dying and waiting to turn of age so they can vote. And those who are of age who, want, who are, are ready to register and now to know that they can vote. Um, so I do see it does have an impact. And with my views of the faith I had 10, 20 years ago for 10 years of that life, it, was, it wasn't important because they were made up laws and to make a small nutshell. <laughs> um, but now living here for the last nine years and having to be exposed to, like I said, some uncomfortable feelings, um, experiences, not always a good thing, um, but it always hasn't been that bad. So just wanna make sure that whatever your story is or your history is or your studies or your faith or your belief it does make a difference because you're giving that hope for someone else so they can do the same thing as they continue to grow.